Welcome back to Rev Enduring Sports. And we are in the town of Lone Pine today. And back over there is Mount Whitney. And so this is Lone Pine. It's at the base of two massive climbs. Back behind that pizza factory signage, you could see Horseshoe Meadows, big switchbacks back there, and then you've got Whitney Portal Climb. And we're staying at the Whitney Portal Hostel. And it's an inexpensive way. It's funny, when we were driving in, Jess was like, wow, Lone Pine is just hotels. Well, it is a jump off point for a lot of outdoor adventuring. And believe it or not, the hardest decision I've got to make at the moment is what I'm going to pack. Because in the valley, which is where we're at, and we're about 3,700 feet, the temperature here is currently 45 Fahrenheit. And even though that shows that the temperature is going to increase, well, we're actually going up in elevation. So we are going to go from our current elevation of 3,700, we're gonna go up to 9,200 and then eventually 10,000 on a different climb. So trying to decide what to take has been the biggest um, question of the day. So I'm going to bring some toe warmers, toe covers, a set of leg warmers. I'm going to wear my Velocio um, thin wool jersey. I've got a wool base layer on, you can see in the mirror there. And then I've got a wool neck buff. I've got my Gore-Tex jacket gloves that I will be wearing while I'm riding and then and I did a, a favorite piece of kit segment on this on the latest rev show and then these are like a wind block that fit over the top of this top of these and then I had other choices I had well do I do a long sleeve do I do a vest so I have them with me hey Jess good morning hi we're not in San Diego anymore. No, it's freaking, <laughs> it's, it's going to be cold out here. So we've also got the spider bag that I'm trying to use now uh, to stuff all this in. So I have all these options and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to take. And Jess has a similar problem now. She, she's going to be colder than I am. So she's, she's actually going to go. I have a, another long sleeve jersey and then she's got a like a rain jacket. Do you think that's gonna work? We should have filmed you trying to pack my bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were trying to stuff all that stuff in there. So the room is fairly small, but you know, you're you're here to ride bikes. You're not here to do, you know, uh, it's not a spa treatment type of place, right? So there's just enough room for your stuff and just enough room for your bikes in <laughs> in the bathroom there. But um, yeah, so big adventure today for Jess. This is a, a massive climb of, uh, well, Onion Valley is considered the hardest climb in California. And it's, it's like 15 miles and I think a good portion of it, about 12 miles or so is eight and a half to 9%. So it's gonna be a steep one. And then the descent is really, really fast and it's got switchbacks, but with the, I mean, if it's 45 in a valley, it's probably gonna be low 30s at the top. So 9,200 feet, so that's about 2,800 meters for those folks in the metric system. And then we're also going to do another climb that's a 10,000 foot climb. It's called Horseshoe Meadows. I showed the switchbacks out there that one will take us over 3,000, so like 3,048 meters is 10,000 feet. So, you ready, babe? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to get moving. It's going to be noon by the time I <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> for about 
14 miles, I think. We got 1.3 left. We're at 8,700 foot elevation. So I believe we're getting near the height of the Col de Galibier, which is somewhere around there, 8,800, I think. And we still got 544 feet to go. But switchbacks back down there. And then the valley is way down there. We started about 4,700 feet of climbing to get here so far. It's just truly Yes. One point two to go, about five hundred feet to go. It's in the bag, baby. Well, the Garmin seems to be fairly accurate because the summit of this is 9200 and it reads 9160 and there's the summit. More like a trailhead though. Wow, that sign is really worn down. See your chest. The sign? Yeah, it just it there. says Onion Valley Elevation 9200. Yeah, we'll go. We'll circle back. So this is campgrounds up here at 9200 foot elevation. We've been climbing for about 5200 feet in about 14 miles. Really, really hard climb. Look how Look how truly epic the scenery is. There's no running water up here, so you gotta pack it in. Sometimes there will be a camper who will share some of their stuff with you because they know that you've climbed up here and it's 100 degree heat. But today, <coughs> today it's, uh, it was 45 when we started, so it's probably gotta be, oh, look at that. Climb completed. That's only a part of the climb because I stopped to talk to Sequoia Kings Pack Trains. Huh. That's only part of the climb because I stopped to talk to some beekeepers. Ah, uh, so there you are. What'd you think of it? Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you noticed I was really quiet <laughs> pretty much the whole way up. I don't know if it's because the oxygen here is a little low or because I just am having kind of a hard day. <laughs> so, uh, but I will tell you, it was, a, uh, it was a hard climb, but it is so beautiful out here. And it's just insane that there is a paved road out in this wilderness and, um, <coughs> Well, George said it was a busy day today. I think we saw maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 cars. Yeah, 10, <laughs> ten cars in, um, 10 cars in, uh, you know, I don't know if that lens is clean. A 10 cars doesn't seem like a very busy yeah. day. Two plus hours. what we're used to. So, yeah. Two plus yeah, hours it's of climbing. fantastic. And like where, from where I'm sitting, I, I think, is that like a water flow, like water draining down the side yeah. uh, of the 
Yeah. Of the hill there. I mean, you can hear it. Um, you can hear a little bit of water in the distance, and when the wind blows, you can hear it, the sound of it uh, whizzing past your ear, but you don't really hear very much else out here right now. No, no. Dead quiet. So, is it time to start unpacking what we packed? It's time, yeah. Okay. It's time to bundle up because it's going to be cold going down. Right. So, what'd you bring? Huh. As much as I could. Yeah, no, <laughs> I. just gotta have options. Yeah, uh, some, <laughs> some toe warmers. Toe covers. Toe covers, yeah. Uh, this wool buff. Yep. Uh, winter, like heavy winter gloves. I yep. got these when I used to live and ride in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. They're going to come in handy today. Uh, this light windbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, a uh, long sleeve jersey. This is actually George's, but um, <clears throat> because it's so thin, it packs down really well. I was able to fit it in here, so he's going to let me borrow that under the windbreaker. And ooh, got a couple more things in here. <laughs> oh, wow. Some tights. I, <laughs> got some nice thermal tights <laughs> to keep my legs warm on the descent. And okay. Yeah, well, that's about it. it. And then a beanie. Little, well, hats. Yeah, and keep your head warm. This one, I think, has a little. Oh, no, I thought it had a hole in the back for a ponytail to come out, but it doesn't. But that's okay. We'll make it work. All right, let's see what's in George's bag. Yep. Remember how steep this was on the way up? So a lot, it was, I mean, miles of double digits. So this is gonna be super, super fast and it's a lot, there's a few switch back, well, there's, a lot of switchbacks but there's a few of them that have uh, gravel and sand and some water runoff yeah some of them did so just just <laughs> just be on your p's and q's I'll be on my brakes. <laughs> or you could be on your brakes yeah all right i'll all see right. i'll see you in a minute okay. or a few minutes Woo! Woo 15 miles. I have a thing about post offices and I like parking my bike in front of them. And uh, so there it is. This is Independence, California. And this is right at the bottom of The Onion Valley climb that goes way, way, way up there. So we're at about 4,000 foot elevation. And here comes Jess. Look at that beautiful backdrop. It's just pretty freaking amazing that we live in such a beautiful place. God, I love California. How'd it go? I don't think I've ever gone that long without having to pedal, ever. Yeah. So it felt really weird then towards the bottom when I actually had to start turning my legs over again. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I hope my legs still work. Yeah, it's, it was probably 20 something minutes of descending. 